Welcome to another installment of African Farming Digital. Now, here's a buzzword, biosecurity. What is biosecurity? Why should we take it seriously? I'm talking to Gerard van Seel, who we call Mr. Bonsmara. Gerard, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, David, thank you, thank you. It's a great pleasure for me to be here, and uh, yeah, welcome to all the, the farmers looking at this. So Gerard, let's talk about biosecurity. We had a foot and mouth disease challenge um, earlier on and um, a lot of farmers lost a lot of their herds. So why is it important for farmers to pay attention to biosecurity? I mean, let me just go back to biosecurity. Biosecurity, in essence, is the management program that you implement to avoid any diseases coming into your herd or into your production cycle. So it's a big word, but it's actually what are you as the farmer or the owner of an amount of cattle are doing to help and to make sure that the type of disease like food and mouth doesn't come into your herd. Now, let's talk about the practical measures that a farmer should pay attention to when it comes to biosecurity on a farm. Yes. I would say the first thing is to remember that it's your own responsibility. It's your cattle, it's your farm, it's your income. So I would start with having a close relationship with the local veterinarian and speak to him and say, what is needed in this area that I have to inoculate? There's a few things that we have to do. And then I would say, make sure that your own herd is clean. And I'm talking about clean, is it free of, of all the diseases like, you know, food and mouth and all, you know, all the other ones. Then there's wonderful products that we can uh, immunize our uh, animals so we don't have, the, it's not a risk. Then it's also important if we go to that, is to make sure that whenever we immunize our animals, that the first time we do a young animal, add on dosage, just to make sure that your prevention is optimal. Then. I think it's also important that we test our bulls every year, uh, you know, before we, we put them to the, to the cows. So I think those are the things that, that, that we can do practically. Uh, it's easy, it's cost effective, it's worthwhile. So, uh, you know, I think I would, you know, I encourage every farmer uh, to go that route. You just mentioned something, cost. Now we all know in agriculture, everything has a cost to it. So if I want my farm to be, you know, biosecure, what am I looking at in terms of costs? I mean, it, you know, it's not a huge cost. With us, you know, all our inoculations will be less than 7% of total cost. So I don't think one, one don't do it because of the cost. If you, normally it takes you one calf and you inoculate your whole herd. So if you're not prepared to use the money of one calf, then I think you're not serious about your own business. So, so, you know, I think the cost is the last thing that, that, that can hinder you of doing it. Now, let's look at somebody like an extension officer or even us, the African farming crew. I mean, we visit farm to farm. So for someone like an extension officer, before he goes to the next farm, what should that person pay attention to so that he doesn't take a disease from one farm to another? Well, I mean, I, you know, I think that there's a lot of things that one can do. You can go through sprays and all these things. My, my view is to make sure that, that every single farmer that he or she visits use the right program. Because then, you know, you, 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 you're five steps ahead of the disease basically, and you actually block the disease before it actually comes in. I think the other very important thing is to do is, if you buy animals from somebody else, make sure that those animals are tested, from a vet or by a vet and they are clean. Second one is, if they come to your place, the, the quarantine time must be at least about 28 days because that is the time that something like food and mouth inoculates. So uh, I would say, you know, at least that. So buy from a clean person or somebody that is tested and then also on top of that, make sure when they get to your farm that you quarantine it for at least 28 days. At the end of the day, it is everybody's responsibility to make sure that foot and mouth disease and other challenges do not become, well, a bigger problem. Isn't that true? Yes, I love what you say. Because, you know, me as a farmer must take responsibility for my own cattle. And if I don't want to do that, then I think you're not, you, you can't be called a farmer. So it's a responsibility for yourself, towards yourself, 
It's a huge responsibility towards your neighbours. It's a responsibility to the bigger area, the district, and to the national herd. And then for exports and all those things, because these things like food and mouth, it's hindering and stopping our exports, which is the which is the draw power basically of animals in this country. So if we stop that, then you know our price is going to drop and so 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 yeah. Please farmers, let's do it. Oh my goodness, Harold, I could talk to you the whole day. <laughs> Thank you. Me too. <laughs> I hope you guys are inspired just as I am. Thank you so much for watching African Farming. Please tune in. And remember, we farm better together. Get your free copy of the African Farming magazine now at your nearest co-op and at africanfarming.com. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.